Did you know an aircraft can legally take off with something broken? That's right. Not every system on an aircraft has to be working to fly. The secret is a document called the MEL, or the Minimum Equipment List, and it's one of aviation's most misunderstood tools. What is the MEL, the Minimum Equipment List, also known as a Dispatch Deviation Guide, is a customized document approved by the regulator for each airline. It's derived from the manufacturer's master MEL and lists what equipment and systems may be inoperative and under what conditions they be inoperative while maintaining safe flight. For example, a flight may depart with one VHF radio inoperative, provided another is working and maintenance is scheduled to rectify. This allows the traveling public to fly in safety without the inconvenience of an unexpected delay. Who approves and controls the MEL? The MEL isn't written by engineers alone. It's reviewed by flight operations, maintenance and engineering departments, and approved by the national aviation authorities, CASA, FAA, or EASA, depending on where you fly. Each airline's MEL reflects its fleet configuration, routes, and operating environment. How MEL deferrals work. When a fault occurs, the defect is first logged in the technical log. Engineers review this defect against the MEL in the first instance to confirm if allowed to be deferred. If the fault is deferred, it will be under a specific MEL category limit, usually A, B, C, or D. It is also to be noted that some systems and components cannot be placed under an MEL for dispatch and must be rectified prior to flight. For example, Category A might require repair within one day, whilst a Category D MEL can last up to 120 days, but always with conditions attached, which the engineer must adhere to. Some real examples. 1. A galley oven may be MEL'd as inoperative. Passengers still get fed, just with fewer ovens. 2. A weather radar may be MEL'd, but only if flights avoid known weather and thunderstorms. 3. Even a thrust reverser can be MEL'd, provided landing performance is recalculated. It's all based around risk mitigation, not shortcuts. Safety layers behind the MEL. Every MEL deferral triggers operational restrictions, changes to weight, speed, or routing. Pilots are briefed. Maintenance planning ensures tracking of expiry dates aren't missed, and the regulator audits the process. It's a balance between keeping aircraft flying and maintaining absolute safety integrity. Why the MEL protects reliability. Without the MEL, airlines would face significant delays for minor issues. It allows flexibility while maintaining compliance and safety and proof that aviation isn't just about perfection. It's about controlled imperfection. Managed through engineering discipline and experience, TT. Like and subscribe to Joe Tor Aviation Consulting. If you found this interesting, subscribe and join us, where we decode the systems that keep aircraft in the sky, because every rivet, relay, and regulation tells a story.